Little Pisser. Little Pisser, stop! Is it Little Pisser or is it LDG? Ever since DG died, we've had three dogs. I can't tell. They DG all look died. the same to me. D you didn't know? You forgot DG died, Samantha? You were there. She probably just tried to block it out because she don't like talking about DG, you know, ever since she kind of broke she kind of broke his heart. Well, how could you forget about the fucking vat of acid? I see it every day in my fucking nightmares. Me too, my friend. Falling 60 feet into a vat of acid. But I, I still remember, still remember seeing his last hoof come to the top. Sizzle. It looked like pork crackling. My therapist says it's PTSD. Oh. Says it's my body's way of trying to protect myself from the horrible memories. Well, everybody knows that the human body has ways of shutting itself down, so that that sort of thing. So it's exactly. understandable. I'm sorry, guys. Is that why you got the scalp tattoo? Yeah, honestly, it was just it, it felt really right. But you know, looking back, it's it's a little. I, I mean, I could have. I don't regret it, but I could have. It has a lot it. of cool detail. I've never seen somebody get a tramp stamp on their forehead. What's the thing on the other side, too? It looks like it's from Avatar the Last Airbender. A little arrow thing coming down. Oh. It's actually a dick. Oh. Yeah. What a weird looking pointy Oh, dick. yeah. Look, there's the balls. Oh, really? Highly detailed balls, but not very highly detailed head. Well, if you look closely. Let me see the nuts. You can see the hair. Oh, the power went out. Does anybody have a what? flashlight? No. Where's the cell phone? I don't use cell phone. Yeah, I haven't had a cell phone since I got to Goat Island. Samantha, how are we supposed to look at your beautiful scalp tattoo if the power is out? Clark, did the power go out or something? I can't see. Yes, Beverly, we've been talking about it for like 30 seconds now. Oh. Y'all, where the hell is Tristan? He, he needs to get the fucking power back on. I'm right here. Okay, bitch, then go fucking get it on. What am I supposed to do? Go down to the creepy basement and flip the breaker? No. I'm scared. You are the... All right, listen. For structure. I mean, he, that's literally your job. But listen, baby, I'll make a deal with you. We'll go down together. You flip the breaker while they're testing up here. I'll suck y'all for payment. Yeah, for payment. I don't know. You can't. You can't pay me to go down there and see them creepy crawlies. Not even for it'll a girl's pussy. By, no, it'll come back on by itself. Well, we are supposed to have a generator, but that's also like you should be. All right, I'll, generator. Okay, I'll go. Whatever. Whatever. Guess I do everything around here. Clark, Dad, what are we? I want to watch TV. Me and Jeremy want to watch TV. I want. I'm missing. I'm missing my programs. We want to watch The Bold and the Beautiful. Sally Ann, do you want to watch The Bold and the Beautiful too? Yeah, I'd love to watch it with y'all. I haven't. I ain't been able to catch the last few episodes. I can always get some popcorn. Marcus died. No fucking way. Who died? Oh Who my died? God. Marcus on The Bold and the Beautiful. There's no way. With his twin brother Stephen. How is Samantha? She's devastated. No. Yeah. Just to be clear, not this Samantha. Oh, no, no, this God, no. <laughs> Let me that tell you. That Samantha's devastated, too. In the same way as they're devastated. Ain't that You're fucking right. crazy? And then what about, a uh, what about, a uh, what was her name? Um, the girl who raped the prostitute because she had sex with her husband. Clarissa? Who? Clarissa? Uh, yeah, 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 Clarissa. Uh, the, oh, the, yes. the yeah. oh, that's, right. that's right. I completely forgot what the fuck we were talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh no, I think that I mean I'm not. I mean I got the DVR and the bold and the beautiful. I was kind of thinking Young Sheldon. Me and me and Marvel are getting caught up on. No, it. no, I don't like the Big Bang Theory. Or it's not the Big Bang Theory. It's different. No, it's Young no, Sheldon. Listen, I gotta no. tell y'all, I ain't fucking watching that. I'm just gonna keep it all. This the is way a Christian here. house, a Christian island. Since when? Bald and the Beautiful, Young and the Restless, and As the World Turns. Those are the only options and right now. And if it's not gonna be that. Then we're going to listen to the Bible. I'm cool with that. See? You're really going to fucking do that today when we want to watch our show. You're going to make us listen to the Bible. What else are we supposed to do when we got... I want to hear the Bible. We can't turn on the TV, Shelly. I want to hear... Even the... the kid understands it. I'm saying when the power fucking comes back on, bitch. Listen here, Clark. If you don't tr start treating me with some fucking respect, I'm your fucking son-in-law. There has to be a time where you fucking respect me. He's 27 now. I had my birthday. You didn't even say happy birthday. I was busy. Uh, anyway, let's get into the Bible, okay? This will calm everything down. Okay, okay. I want right. to hear about God. They say to get over someone, you have to get under someone. Y'all, Do you guys think that's true? Is that how I get over DG? Real quick, just answer. Yeah. Before we start. I would say so, so Samantha. How is, are you okay if I have sex with your son? Would you be okay with that? Wait a minute. I'm 
a married man. Well, I mean, you know. I only want to be involved if Marple was involved. Do you want to use her as an anal bait? She likes it. I could go up your ass, Samantha. Or you could cuckold me. Would you guys really do that for me? I go up your ass. If she said, yeah, I'm so, I guess maybe. Okay. Well, okay. We'll do the, we'll listen to the Bible stories and we can go back to my place. Okay. My, Barb, my therapist, is going to be really proud about this. I'm glad you're making progress, Samantha. We're, we're very happy to see it in uh, anything you have to do with my children. Um... Okay, let me flip through the Bible here and see what we should talk about. Oh, okay. Have you ever heard of the story of uh, Sh- Shad Sh- Shad <clears throat> Shad Shadrach M- Mesuch and Abednego? Have you ever heard of that one? No. Who? Brother Clark, do you mean Shadrach Meshach and Abednego? Oh, yeah, I mean, if that's what he means, Shadrach that's Meshach what he and Abednego, means, I, yeah, of course I, I know that there, story. But what did you say? Uh, well, I, I, don't, I can't read very well, okay? Maybe some of the else should read the damn story. Here, you take it, Jeremy. You know how to fucking read. You're an adult. Well, what am I supposed to do? Read the... Sid... 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 Sid he just said it! Shadrach Meshach and Abednego, damn it! Abednego! Shadrach Meshach and Abednego. A bendigo. A bendigo. Say it. You fucking you read it, Marvel. God damn. Oh, whoa, whoa. Okay. Fuck, fuck, y'all. I can fucking do it if you need it. I don't want to read fucking Bible stories if y'all are going to start acting like Satan around here. I- Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were three rat scallions running through Rome doing shit wild and making up all kinds of cool stuff. They were not worried about doing nothing. And don't get me wrong, they were wise. They were surely wise. And, and, and let me just say, like he's saying, they were rebels. They were rebels, and that's what I appreciate about them. There were three children from the land of Israel. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. They took a trip to the land of Babylon. Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego. Never Throw a Molotov cocktail over there on that burnt down sack. It's already burnt down. <laughs> That I wanted to make the somebody call 911. Shorty oh, fire burning on the dance floor. Oh, Whoa! Oh, fire yeah. burning, fire burning on the dance floor. So that's all I was thinking I'm about, y'all. I'm going to face him every day singing that. I think fire is really, really cool. And I don't care what anybody says. I think we should light a lot of stuff on fire. You want to? I think we should light everything on fire. Yeah, I think we should. I, I like the way you think of Ednago. I've been really cool. Ever since we did that 30-mile journey, that 300-mile hike over there to see that Love baby that. Jesus, and we, we took that motherfucker, all that stuff. That gold, frankincense, and myrrh. We really got to know how much we like fire together. It, it's just like along the journey. That's all we had to do was light shit on fire. And what they don't know and what they'll never know is that we uh, we lit some of that gold, frankincense, and myrrh on fire before we got there. We <laughs> so we did give them some. It was still a lot to them, but we did burn it. But that's just our inside joke. Next. Exactly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. That's some Roman soldiers down there. Roman? You want to light some Roman soldiers on fire? <laughs> Look, I want you to burn. They they believe in so many fucking gods, it's unfucking real. Well, it's like, what kind of god would do that to you? What kind of god would say, uh, worship me, but then I'm raping your children? Huh? Exactly. Hey, ain't none of my gods raping my children. I swear to God, if God ever tried to come and rape my fucking children, I'd rape him right back. And I don't believe in fucking Zeus. Yeah, you said if any of my gods. It's not that. We just believe in the one God Almighty. Jesus. Come on, guys. Why would they name a Roman god after a damn STD Hermes? Exactly. Right. I got big Hermes. Right. Everybody, everybody knows that you gotta have a name like Shadrach, Meshach, or Abednego to get into heaven. You can't be called something like that. You can't be called... It's like Jesus trying to tell his dad, like... 
You made me part of Earth for a reason. You can't be naming people like, you gotta give them other names. You gotta give my friends names I would give them. And he said, well, Christ Almighty, Jesus, I'm trying. Christ is the only, Christ is the only name. And in fact, if my name wasn't Meshach, I, I, I think my name might be Abednego. Hold on now. <laughs> uh, you might be going to get a little sacrilegious there. That's the whole point of There's it. There's no way I'd be sacrilegious because I, I love one God, one power, one love. And how could we not love him? We did that hike. We went and saw him, and he was glowing. He came out of the woman's pussy glowing. I know, but did you guys hear his mother might be a whore? I did hear Whoa, that. I mean, well, I mean, she was pregnant. <laughs> she, you know, you know, the girls that were pregnant, that means she's been caving. Yeah, I have sex, and I mean, I could tell. I could just tell when we were there that it was not Joseph is not the father. I know, and she's trying to say it's a miraculous miracle, which, I mean, I guess it would make sense because he's healing people now, and he's he's doing all that shit, woman. Well, that's why we believe in him. That's why we believe in him. We but believe I'm, in him. We believe in him. How could we I believe not believe in, in him? I saw him. I saw him. I see Messiah, him. Messiah, we believe. I still see the way he glowed as a baby. I think about the way he glowed as a baby. I wish that glow still happened. What the hell are you guys talking about over there? Um, uh, uh, we're just hanging out. Nothing. Nothing, Roman. Like you guys don't want to. You guys don't want to admit your love for God. Oh, we absolutely. Your would. love for Meshach. what? Excuse me. Meshach. Uh, there's Meshach. only one God I love, and it's me, Jesus Christ Almighty. Meshach. Jesus Christ Almighty, egg, and you all believe in Him. What's your name? Tell me your name. I'm Shadrach. And I'm Abednego. Abednego. And you? In other words, you can call me Mary Magdalene. Mary Magdalene. Where have I heard that name before? I'm just kidding. Just call me Abednego. Yeah, and my name is Meshach, and I love Jesus Christ with all my heart. If we're really having to put it out on the line, I guess, you know, I can't deny it. I saw him glow. You didn't see anything. You saw Zeus glow, if anything. You saw Zeus and Poseidon. I gotta keep it real with you, because that's all I've ever done. I ain't ever seen that motherfucker glow. That's it. Glow. Hands on the ground. Let me go. He's pissing me off. I If they if they want to convict me for believing in Christ, then they can fucking do it. All right, then get on the ground right now. We're going to go burn you. Wait till, wait till the Roman gods in the city come see you. Are you talking about fucking the king of Babylon? Are you talking yes, about the him? The fucking the Babylon. King of Babylon. The king of Babylon down. and me, Sam. My king good one is. Babylon will bow. What's all this talk about the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar? I'm right here. Have you heard about Jesus Christ? <laughs> You fucking blasphemes. We saw him, though. We know him. We brought him. Frank Didn't Jesus you hear him? about how when he was in the center, center of town, he, he healed that lame man so he could walk again, and then the blind man, he rubbed the blood uh. in his eyes, and then he lowered the, the, the handicapped guy from the ceiling into the building so he could be healed, and he said, if I could just touch your cloak, and then Jesus Oh, my this God. This is the kind of shit they're saying to me. I they're know you've been hearing all the miracles. So the guy knows a guy who made a prosthetic leg. Ooh, let me bow down. Well, then how would you explain him uh, making the blind be able to see? She was never blind to begin with. You think she was fucking fake news? I, I saw she had, she had like them white scary eyes that one people. Oh, like, it was all bullshit. I was there, motherfucker. Contacts. I was there. I saw her bumping into shit. She couldn't see shit. She was a paid actor, kid. Oh, and so what, Zeus is it? Oh. I ain't never seen no Zeus. I'm firing it. I'm putting it there all in handcuffs. They're coming. Shadrach! Shadrach! Bravo! Bendigo! They can burn me all day fucking Look at me in my eyes. Give us just a moment, please. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Okay, guys. You guys, I love you so much. I love you too. And now listen. This is what he said would happen. They said we would be persecuted, but he said we're two or more gather. So do I. So we're gonna go. At least we got Jesus with us right now. Whoa, exactly. Whoa. We're supposed to, not Jesus, cause he's I thought God. He we have thing. God. We don't have Jesus, cause he's still walking. No, it's the the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That's enough communicating. Get in the fuck. I love you, brothers. Small in here. Oh, you guys feel like heat coming up? I think it's kind of cozy. Uh, it's a little bit warm right now. Oh, oh, actually, oh. actually, it's kind of nice. Yeah. Honestly, I mean, okay. Well, the way the fire is. Run on my feet just a little bit, but I feel okay. Oh, the fire got on me! Ah! Oh, please, Zipper, come out! Be the fire! I'm dying! Somebody tell my daughter I love her. What's all that noise outside? I don't know. 
sounds like somebody just fell in the fucking underneath the furnace and died. You guys smell it? It smells like fucking burning flesh. Oh, it's me, Mary Magdalene. All oh, my soldiers just fucking died. Those things in there better be fucking cooked to a crisp. Hey, you over there, more flame. Well, uh, you all can burn me all you want. I'm a fucking marvel. It don't make no difference to me. I will emerge from this ashes better than before and shining her in the love of my God. I'll glow, baby. I'm a little red hot. I guess I'll do it too. Look at my little baby. Look at my little baby. King Nebuchadnezzar, second in command mark here since our captain just died. Yeah. Okay, should I bring out the beeline of defenses? Turn them up, turn them up the fire? It seems like everyone we send down there keeps dying, so what should we do? Mm, it's hard to say. I think we should pray to our god. Let's pray to our god, dear Zeus. Tell us what we should do to these senators who refuse to be burned. Hello. The heavens. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hello, Zeus. No, this is not Zeus. Zeus is not real. <laughs> There's only one god. <laughs> I'm going to perform a miracle now, so just step aside. <laughs> Open the door. I dare you. They've been burning for how long? Minutes? They'd be dead. Your soldiers are already dead. Open the door. They believe. Whoa, 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 whoa. Look at me. I told you I'd come out red hot and well. What did we say? We said we believe in Christ and that he would say... Thank you for believing in me. <gasps> like, you said it right. Demons! You said it right. When there's three, I am here. When there's two or more. Exactly. As soon as there was two or more, I started coming. I thought you hugging me, Jesus. God, they say when you see those footprints in the sand, that's God walking beside you, and I felt you down here in the coals with us. That wasn't me, but I was there, like I said, when there was two or more. Thank you for believing, though. Goodbye. Whoa, 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 it's really cool that we got me in a furnace, and nobody in this town ever fucking make eye contact fucking with me. me. Yeah, you motherfuckers better bow, well, I guess not bow down. But. We are going to burn down every fucking building in this no, town no, no, no. in the name of God! Well, I guess if we're gonna have a catchy tune, it's okay, but I, I think we're just becoming the Roman gods if we do that. Come on, guys. Oh, fuck God. Yeah, Abraham Burning Bush. Let's just do that. She knows about a fucking Hey, Bible. literally. All that eat, sleep, and pray, and she wasn't reading. But dead ass, that's like literally people like me who think they know it, like about God, and I'm out here saying what I was saying. I don't even know half shit about the Bible. I'm like every exactly, other person. Exactly, Samantha. That's just me keeping it real. Exactly. I, like I know more about the Bible than anyone. Hey, sister, no. Did your power go out, too? I've been here the whole time. Hey. Remember you locked me in the closet and you said you were gonna, you know, unlock my chastity oh. belt at any moment? Yeah, we were going to have seven minutes in heaven, but then I got busy talking about Jesus. It's uh, Abraham and Isaac. So Abraham, oh. Abraham's the dad and Isaac is the son. Pretty sure that's in Job's. Let me go to Job's. Uh, it's actually in Genesis 22. Oh, that early? Okay. Go back. Abraham spoke to a burning bush. Hello? Uh, yeah. Hold on. Burning bush, can you hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, dude. Why'd you set me on fire, God? <laughs> oh, I created you. Uh, you're, going, you're going. You're a. Uh, you're going to act like me for a little bit. You're. You or me? You're kind of like Jesus, but you're bush that uh, give. You're bush that give vision. Oh, I'm gonna do some sort of vision quest. Okay, dude. Righteous. Oh, righteous. Kind of cultural appropriation. Not uh, supposed to do vision quests, but. Uh, you're also not supposed to do Indian accent if you're white man. Uh, well. Got me on that, brother, but, you know, you're kind of grandfathered in. It's out of respect, you know? We like Sean Gee. We like Moen. Love Indian people. Love Gunnar. My leaves are going to burn off. Like, is this dude going to come? Oh, you're going to burn indefinitely until you do your thing. Oh, oh. Then you'll join me in kingdom. Oh, oh. You're right. None of my leaves are burning. I thought my leaves were burning, but none of my leaves are burning. This is a miracle, dude. But I'm on fire. I got to tell somebody about... Dude. Dude, get over here. Dude. 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 Yeah. Dude. 
Dude. What are you, what? Dude. Is that bush fucking talking yeah, to me? Get over here, dude. I'm on fire. Look at this shit. My leaves aren't burning. None of the branches are falling. Get All over here, right. dude. Look at this shit. <laughs> you should totally kill your fucking son. Hold on, what? You got a son, right? Yeah, of course I do. Yeah. Isn't it, like, annoying how they exist? Yeah, I mean, he's kind of, he's a fucking lot of work. I, I'm telling you, dude, if it's anything like my kid, it cries all the time. It wa You yeah. never know what it wants. I ain't never see it. Hold on. I'm blinded. I can't look at you. Well, well, shield your eyes, brother. I'm on fire. It's hot as fuck. But look at me. I'm not, nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. What the hell are you? Ma'am. Ma'am. Come here, ma'am. Uh, is this bush talking to me? Yeah. Ma'am, look, I'm on fire, dude. Is this... Is this the spirit of God in this bush. I mean, how yeah. like, no, there's no way that's the spirit dude, of God. How would it be burning? And how would it be on fire and not burning? Exactly, dude. It's a miracle. I just spoke to God. He lit me on fire. He told me I'd burn oh my forever God. and nothing would happen to me. Oh Are God. you fucking serious? Yeah, and that's why you both should kill your son. Wait. Is that what God says? You want me to kill my son? Yeah, dude. Isn't he like a really obnoxious kind of dude? I kind of do. Yeah, I kind of. I would do it for you. Obnoxious, but um, that's what I'm saying, Tristan. Oh, for God! Is, this is the voice of God. I mean, who were we to to say? I don't know no better. That's what, and it's like exactly, dude. If if they say you know give up what you have and follow Christ, I mean that's what we're called to do. I I guess we have to kill him. Hey, God, while I have you here. Yeah, dude. What? Gang bangs? Are they okay? Oh, dude, yeah. As long as you got consent, anything you could do with another adult, you can totally do. And that's Thank why you. you had total authority to kill your fucking children. Oh my I'm not god! Not even an adult. I got. Listen, I gotta tell you, with that being said, I'm bisexual. Okay. And I would love to fuck a woman with you sometime. Would you guys, like, do it right in front of me while I'm burning? Like, I think that would just make this really cool for I me. I would totally. One more question, because this is one her and I have been debating on. We don't know if you, we got your, you know, word on this. You got? Yeah, oh, yeah, dude. I mean, he's imbued his spirit into me and let me eternally So, essentially, forever. the Holy Spirit. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, two things, actually. The two pieces of clothing thing. You can't wear two pieces of clothing that are different oh, dude, that, cloths. Yeah, dude, listen. I'm going to be totally fucking real with you here. Pick and choose that shit. You kidding me? I don't have to wear fucking wing nah, cloths? Nah, nah. I don't have to fucking go out to the hole when I'm on my menstrual? No, nah, no. Nah, and you don't got to, you don't got to, like, stone faggots. But you should, and you have full authority to leave here right this second and slaughter your son. What about slavery? Well, there's some things that are just morally reprehensible, dude. I mean, you got to give people their right to the, the original have Bible, autonomy. The original word, you said that we could. That's, well, I mean, like I said, you pick That's and choose. That's why Christ died, I guess. You pick and choose, but as a burning bush, I wouldn't have slaves. I mean, if you would have slaves, that's cool. All right, I'll go murder my son. All right, let's go. I mean, we got to do well, it. No, we got to, you know, give him a little show real quick. Show him your tits. <laughs> oh. Oh, dude. Show them those. Dude. You like the mommy milkers? Pepperoni nipples, dude. <laughs> yeah. Nice. What would you do right? What would you do right now? Would you suck them? Uh, well, I'd probably just sit here and sway in the breeze, to be honest with you. If you well, were, if you were one no, of I us. Got a quick, okay, one final question. If I had to put my pepperoni nipples on to your burning bush, would my nipples burn? I, you know, God didn't tell me that, but I would love if you rubbed your pepperoni nips on me, baby. All right. I mean, Tristan, are you okay with that? Of course I am. I mean, this is God. Of God. I mean, yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> Oh, it ain't that bad, is it? I can feel the little steam oh, coming off of it. Oh, they're doing play. the things that as pepperonis do, oh, and they kind of crisp up. You're right, they are crisp. I'm into heat play. I'm into heat play. Let's go murder our son, baby. Okay. <laughs> Fucking die, you son of a bitch! I'm killing him! I'm killing him! In the name of God! <laughs> Set him up for a second so we can get the blood out of his mouth and he can talk. <laughs> now, what do you got to say before you die, son? Why? God told me Why to. Why did you stab me? God told me to. Why did you stab me? <laughs> Fucking die already. Come on. <laughs> hey, this kid does not die. Uh, hello? 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 You are experiencing a miracle. What are you talking about? Do you remember the test of the talking bush? Of course I do. That's why I'm murdering. That's why we killed our son. Oh, you kill your son? Yeah, that's what you the told us to. You said, if you believe in God, leave what you have behind, all your gold, all your all your sheep, all I, your animals, and kill your kill I your. I know. I I know. I just is it not three fifteen? It's three sixteen. Uh, or do you see? Yeah, I just killed him. I should have synced up my watch with the burning bush. Using a Timex. Oh shit! No, God does. I do not use a. 
Timex. Let me. I got mine from Gold and Silver Connection, right next to my personal non touch store. Oh, I know that one. Yes. Yeah, the Uppy Valley Mall in Babylon. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, they get, that's the one that has my favorite fucking pretzel bites over there. Right by the exit by Bethlehem. Cream yes. cheese, that's all I, I want. I want them pretzel logs with that, uh, not the spicy cheese. I don't want the spicy cheese. I really, I got to tell you both, I really, I really, really appreciate what you did for me of by course, God, we worship killing you. your son. Uh, unfortunately, I, if I had come like intended and been here on time, um... Your son would still be alive because uh, the test uh, should have stopped right at the moment before the Wait, knife. So you're telling me that it was a fucking test of faith that you told me you manipulated me into killing my son and you were just going to say, oh, just because you believe you don't have to? It, precisely, precisely. And I am realizing now after th this is the third or fourth time I've done this, but this is the first mistake. And I'm realizing now that if I want to do this again, the timing has to be perfect. I mean, listen, I'm a little pissed off, but I can't say I'm devastated. I can't say I'm devastated. He was annoying as hell. I'm not I can't say it you know, either. This I'm was only a big misunderstanding, honestly, on my fault. So I'm going to, you know, absolve you for the sin of killing your son. What about a sheep? Can we have him back in a gold? Your sheep. That we gave away? Who did you give a shit? Oh, that's who what you said. said they gave they away. Give, give away, away the sheep. I mean, in general, God I mean, talks yeah, about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Here's your stuff. Yes, I, I. Sorry for the inconvenience. I should Thank have. Thank you, God. I and I thought you owe us a few extra pounds of gold. Uh, and yes, I am blackmailing uh, God. You yes, know, I am. Uh, Oh, we could always go ask Satan. Well, no, I th I was going to direct you to my friend at uh, Burson, uh, uh, Gold and Silver Connection. They have the uh, best selection of gold. Uh, anyway, God we'll give you a watch. Give us a thousand dollar voucher there, and we'll call it even. Here you are. Thanks. Sorry for sorry for death of son. My hero in peace up in heaven. Is he there? Oh no, he is. No, he will be in. He was murdered. If you're murdered, you go to he hell. Sorry, I don't like to. You keep your wounds. You keep your wounds in heaven. Everybody thinks you don't keep your wounds, but in heaven you keep your wounds, and I do not want to see murdered wounds. That's a wild story. It is pretty wild, and I'm sad that we've murdered so many people and they don't even get into heaven. I hope I don't get murdered so I go to heaven. They really fuck you up in Bible school and tell you all the different names. I've never heard these motherfuckers. The thief was saved on the old cover. We're just going to say who I I'm amazed. Every this is what I'm saying. They tell you different stories and you Google it. That's what I'm saying. We're all fucked. Grill it. Samantha, I, I, we have to stop listening to Samantha's suggestions because <laughs> she doesn't know uh, good Bible stories. You know, Samantha, I think. I've only watched Veggie Tales and I know a lot more. We should talk about, you know, we should. That we shouldn't be worried about all these, you know, other stories like Samson and Delilah. We need to see the sacrifice that, that was made, you know? We need to see the sacrifice that God made by giving his only begotten son and hung him on the fucking cross. He did do that. And, you know, I don't care what anybody says. I believe it was Jesus, Lazarus, and Judas hanging on the cross. And if I, I flip... I mean, Judas is kiss. It would make sense. If I flip to the page and that's what it says, that's what it says. Judas, Jesus, and Lazarus were being strewn through town, carrying their crosses. Oh my god, this cross is so fucking heavy. Why do you already have it nailed to my hands? How am I supposed to walk like this? Yeah, shut up over there. Hey, give me a little bit of respect. I healed your mom last week. You didn't do shit over there. Yeah, you were fucking fake. Uh, fucking he's got fake a ass. crown of thorns on. He's bleeding. They're killing the son of God. Yeah, I don't know why we they decided to put a crown of thorns like you're some kind of king or something. Oh, I am the king of kings. Yeah, well. The you, son of God. You act like you're going to go remember being fucking pictures of you right now going to be putting on everybody's goddamn wall and shit. You ain't going to be nothing. You will be surprised. I think people will wear uh, the symbol of my death around their neck. Why the fuck would they do that? That's weird. It doesn't make, it make any God. sense. But. Excuse me. This I fell over and I oh, can't get up and Lazarus. the cross is on me. Lazarus, are you okay? The cross is Shut up over there. Shut the... She's someone, just a little old woman. How get... is she supposed to carry that cross? Lazarus, I'm sorry. Maybe she shouldn't have committed fucking... Whatever it's called. It fucking theft, but it didn't matter. They're not going to help What's you that? up, Blasphemy. Lazarus. You're, oh, going to have, you're going to have to carry that cross by yourself, Lazarus. 
Oh. You, you got that, baby. There you go. Oh, this is hard. Can you? Can we just be crucified right here? There ain't no way in hell I'm gonna crucify you right here. Oh my God. Take him to the hill, boys. Take him to the hill, yeah. Come on here. The whole town's already waiting. Yeah. yeah. Zeus! <laughs> Zeus! Fucking Poseidon, dude! They're all- dude, you don't get- with- with Roman gods, you don't gotta choose, dude. They're all real. Yeah, I'm saying that's the better one. The only one that's not real? That, that one! That one, yeah! yeah. Fucking, yeah. The sky, daddy! These fucking idiots think this thing is God. <laughs> fucking freak! Fucking freak! Thinks ass, he can Jesus turn water God. into wine. My ass, you just put fucking food coloring in it. Why couldn't you have been better and just proven to them? Why don't they believe? I, yeah, I mean, why didn't your dad? Why couldn't he just yeah, come just down had and to have us? that Ever. damn last supper? And didn't why you? is he willing to let his own son die on the cross? They know not the error of their ways. And to be honest, I'm sick of that bullshit. I'm sick of it. I'm dying. I know, Lazarus, and but it's okay, cause soon you'll be free, just like a bluebird. And ain't that just like you? Ain't that just like you, Lazarus? Just like that bluebird? It's just like that bluebird. What about me? I mean, I'd like something too. I'm dying. Judas. By the time I got to New York, I was living like a king. I know you were, baby. Then I used up all my money! Now ain't that just like me? It is, and you will be forgiven. I promise you, Lazarus. And Judas, if this is our last time together, I'm I'm sorry that you betrayed me. I really didn't mean to, God. I, oh my God, watch I out. Know I, I know I betray you, but please forgive me. They've got the six... They've got the 12-inch nail, and they're putting it up against Lazarus's forehead. No... Lazarus! Lazarus! Oh god! Oh yes, my god! Yes, he fucking die! Oh! They're putting Crucify a- Crucify him! They put the nail Crucify through him. her head! They put the nail through her head! Lazarus? Goodbye. <laughs> oh my god, I see- Did you see that bluebird fly away the second Lazarus died? They ain't no that fucking bluebird. Oh. oh, they shot the bluebird! Judas, I'm I'm sorry, but it looks like they've got the nail ready for you too, my friend. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm Jesus. gonna nail the shit out of him. Jesus, I just want you to know I know I betrayed you and, and it'll be known as Judas's kiss, but I am sorry. I forgive you, Judas. Oh my god, the nail <laughs> Wow. He looks beautiful nailed to a cross. Yeah, just you left now. Give me my nail. Hey, Zeus. What, you just gonna sit there and take the nail like you ain't scared? They all whimper, they all scared. I know if I die, I'm going right back you home act to like you my not. dad. I'm gonna go see my dad. Hang out with Sean Gee for a little no, bit. No, you're not. You're gonna go hang out and fucking with Hades. Wait, whoa, whoa. The put underworld. The, put the nail in my head. Put the nail in my uh, head. We ain't gonna put no nail in your head. What? Hey, but if I... I can't even hold myself up here. You've got nails in my hands and nails in my ankles, and you're not going to put a nail in my head? No, we're not gonna... No, you're just gonna sit there and you're gonna... Ow. Ow! You want a hearse donut? Ow! Oh, oh you hearse donut. donut? Yeah. Oh, you punched me in the stomach, and now I'm bleeding in my mouth. <laughs> Choke on your vomit, Ow. bitch. Choke on your blood. <laughs> and that is how Jesus asphyxiated on his own blood and spit three days after hanging on the cross. Oh, oh, the power is back on. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm turning out going to beautiful. Fuck that boring shit. What I miss up here, guys? Uh, we were just telling Bible stories. Oh, that's fucking gay. Thank God the power's back on. Now suck my dick, Samantha. Suck my dick while we watch The Bold and the Beautiful. I mean, I'll do it during the intro song, but I'd really I I just prefer, turned on I, the power for you. I you would wouldn't be watching it without having to turn it back off. To be honest, it took a long time, Christian. Woo! Okay. Do we have to keep it this loud for Beverly? She's dead over there, I think. Oh, Did you come yet, baby? I just sucked you off the whole intro. I can't tell. That was like three seconds. Hello and welcome to Motave. We're back, folks. Uh, and, you know, you heard her. 
she's she's here. She's queer. Brianna Nicole Coleman, honorary co-host. What up? Not Coleman. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> I was so what? <laughs> I knew you didn't catch it. I was just being funny. It's just, you know, you, I trained myself to say it so often. Well, you had to train yourself to say Reagan, and then, then I fucking right. changed it on right. you, fucking bitch. Of course, you know, s- strike that, reverse it, Brianna Nicole Reagan. <laughs> She's here. She's queer. And I'm happy divorced. to be here. <laughs> yeah, divorced. She's divorced. Divorced. Yay. You know, I have oh, loves weed. You know, I uh, I'm I'm blessed that we're hanging out today. I was I was looking forward to it. I could not get my ass out of bed uh, because truly, I mean, I got off at midnight after working that Springfield High prom last night. I saw you text me at like one thirty. Yeah, I because I I just couldn't fall asleep after that point. You know, I was I spent the whole prom so anxious because there were so many police officers there. Like, how many police cars do you think there were? Nine. My God. Yeah. Like one prom? Well, there was also the symphony was performing at the Kuss, and then there was another prom happening at the Heritage Center, which is like right across the street. So there's a prom happening at the Heritage Center. There's a prom happening at the HBC. The symphony's p- performing, and each of those things have their own like security there for that. Yeah. It's basically as soon as it starts, the police are like, I need you to lock that door. You need to lock this door. We're having one point of entry. Put up a sign on this door that says, come through here. They're patrolling the property. I was just spending, I spent the whole thing just so anxious. I couldn't shut my door because I had to be available if they needed anything. Yeah. But I wanted to shut my door. It was loud. There were kids everywhere. At one point, a kid comes into my office to take a phone call. Oh my God. I mean, he just like walks in. He's like, yeah. Oh yeah. And I'm like just staring at him and he's like, one second and it finishes his phone call he's like i'm sorry and just walks out the audacity my god I, know. I went into the bathroom and this guy i'm like washing my hands and this kid comes in and he starts like checking himself out in the mirror like like full-on posing like doing his hair and then being like and t- he turned did he know you were in there yeah i'm standing oh, right there god. washing oh, my hands god. and he does not care he's just i mean it's just funny like the conceit of these kids the prom ends at 11 this girl calls her mom or calls her dad or whatever this person does not show up until 12 15 to what pick the up this bug oh my god so you have to be there till the very last person leaves yeah um that sucks so the whole, even the custodians have left at this point because their job is done so i'm literally just sitting I here cleaned up the whole prom yeah just sitting here waiting for them to come back and what time did you say that answer ended? 11 my god so finally the teachers finally leave i get out of there go home, fall asleep. But I forgot to mention the point, the reason I brought up the whole story besides the fact that it was just anxiety inducing. Mr. Martin was there. Now he's come in for some other, I don't know how he's involved at Springfield High. I guess he teaches there now. I don't know. Oh yeah, I feel like someone told me that. I don't know if he's, but somehow he's involved there because he came in for something else that was Springfield High and he remembers Emma, who was my manager. He remembers her as a student. He doesn't remember me. Not that he would. How old is Emma? Who is Emma? Emma, uh, her name, her maiden name was Clark. She's from Clark's Farmer's Market, Emma Clark. And she was, uh, I think she was a year above Hannah Campbell. So I think she graduated in 2009. Oh, that would have been my sister's grade. Yeah, so she might have, If she knows them, I'll say, do you know Emma Clark? She was she was a really good boss, but my, uh, Mr. Martin. So she's not transferring like her family? No, yeah. I know, right? Mr. Martin came in and he's like, Apparently, he was chaperoning or something. He walks in. He's like, is Emma working tonight? And I'm like, actually, her last day was yesterday. She quit. You know, so I start telling her. Does he recognize you? No, not at all. Oh. Starts telling him, you know, I start telling him like, oh, yeah, she got a job here. This is her title. He goes, oh, well, she was a former student of mine. (sighs) Oh. Immediately. Did you say anything? No, I didn't. But I had that thought where I'm like. Do I say, oh, yeah, well, I mean, I was too, but I'm like, no, because I yeah, at this point... it would have been awkward. Now that I've, like, started interacting with Ooh, a lot yeah. more people, I've kind of gotten over the anxiety yeah. of, like, that. When I first started at Clark yeah, State... Yeah, but imagine if he remembers you later. Now it's even more awkward to say, so you just didn't say anything? Yeah, and I'd say, yeah, I did, because it was less awkward, you Oh, know? that's true. I mean, yeah, that's what I would say, too. I'm like, well, I didn't think you remember... You're right, yeah, right. that's what I would say. Because when I started at Clark State, I have a very good memory, and so, like, Emma would introduce me to the janitor, and I'd be like, oh, yeah, I know Mark he doesn't remember me. I mean, I was a student five years ago, but I remember Mark, you know? And so I'd be, it's weird to me because some of those people, I would be like, Oh, nice to see you again. 
or, or do I pretend, yeah, do I yeah. say nice to meet you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I yeah, just, yeah, yeah. at least I've learned a little bit and I'm yeah. like, I'm just nipping it in the bud. Yeah. I'm going to let Mr. Martin not recognize me. Yeah. He's dyslexic. Right. You know, yeah, he you does know. his, my face you looks different. You should somehow put a picture of you in high school in your office, like behind you. So the next <laughs> time he comes in, cause I, cause like, I, I feel like to me, it's like, oh my God, how could you not recognize that? But I wonder, cause I feel that way. And some people, what if they really don't recognize that it's you somehow? Yeah. Well, and I, I mean, feel like everybody thinks that's be as honest, your friends. I wasn't very like close to Mr. Martin. And to be actually completely fair. Didn't you not like him? I didn't like him. And sometimes I would skip his class and go to Mrs. Lee and just yeah. hang out in her. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, to be honest, he probably doesn't have that many good memories of That's me. true, yeah. Michael Todd with 1D Martin. I just remember. Yeah, he was a Justin terrible I loved him. Yeah, he was not good. And he, that, sheets. that year that we did that, and I remember that that year he was really uh, fighting to keep his contract, I remember. And he was like making us do all this group work and we'd have to present like whole chapters that is for so him. Funny. I didn't know that he was like doing that. He, he would literally, because like the, I talked to Mrs. Lee about it and at the time and she was like the the board of education or whatever the standards of the state or whatever the fuck are really highlighting group education or like group yeah, work yeah. at that time. They, you know, are the values of group work. So Mr. Martin to try to show like, Oh, I'm with the times I'm trying to keep up with, you know, the standards. Damn. He would literally just sit in the corner of the room and have a group. It'd be like me, Jaden, Cleveland. Groups, now that you're yeah, saying, lots of groups. Holy you know, shit. And we would just go up there and we would present, you know, the first 10 pages of the chapter to the class. We had to be knowledgeable enough about the first 10 pages of the chapter to answer questions for the class, present the whole thing. Zach, you're bringing back memories. And then the oh next group would do the next 10 pages of the chapter. And I he have... wouldn't do any of the chapter and then we'd have a test and it's he didn't so teach at all i don't remember it i remember the groups i remember because i took it with jessica and that's when i was with it um with oh, what's that little gay girl her name is jamie and she always used to tell me that i was gay and she was one of the ones that was always like i'm my gay or it's never wrong I'm like you're wrong uh, turns out she's right jamie right um no jamie um anderson she's a short little blonde girl she was a few grades above us oh um, I don't know she, her. Um, I'll show you a picture of her where you might recognize her. Um, but it was funny because when I came out, I had messaged her on Facebook. I was like, remember when you, saw, you used to say that I was gay? And she's like, yeah. I was like, it turns out you're right. <laughs> and she's like, oh, my God, I told you I was never wrong. Um, but anyways, I was in it with her, Jessica, and Jake Bauermeister was in that class, mm. and Jordan Hall, and so we would always mm -hmm. do our groups together. But I also had him for pop culture, and I loved pop culture with him. It was fun. We didn't do group things mm. like that, but it was literally because we were watching it, and we'd have popcorn. He would let us do carry-ins on Fridays. Um, but also, I think he was like interested in that a little bit more, so he was just yeah. randomly knowledgeable on it. So I just liked that class, because well, and because we had to bring him food and snacks, and I also slept a lot some, during some of the movies, but... That's why I liked him, literally because of yeah. that, I think. But I will say, yeah, he didn't teach a lot now that you're making me remember yeah. all these things. I thought he was honestly yeah, he a bad teacher. Jessica and I loved him, though, because he, we, we, he's funny. He thought we were hilarious. And then, that, of course, that made us fucking jerk off that, you know, we're making him laugh mm -hmm. all the time in class. But I remember, yeah, you just reminded me, he would, like, give points. Yes, yeah, yes. You had, to, you had to participate. Yeah, like, like two, you're right. Like I forgot about times that. in a class or something like that. And if you made him laugh, yeah, that would automatically get you a point, a point. for yeah. at least for the participation. So we would get Jessica and I would get them for making him laugh, or like I can't remember who was being a troublemaker in that class, but it was usually me who was like trying to get them to like help them do their work, or being like, "Shut the fuck up, we're trying yeah. to do this." Like you're annoying me or whatever, and he would get a point for that. I'm like hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but he also gave me detention. I can't remember what for. Oh, because I didn't do my sentences when you would get in trouble mm, and you had yep, to write you sentences. Had to write she was annoying. And I forgot, so he gave me detention, and that is the staple in the finger, if you remember that. Oh. So I went to the office, and they were stapling it, and Miss Heen was trying to do it, and she stapled through my fin. That staple oh. went out like this, and they literally um, were trying to make me go for the hospital for it. And Miss um, Heen was like, no, let's just fucking spray it with some fucking like peroxide and take it out, and it hurt like a bitch. Did you get and out then, of detention from Yep, that? he literally said, he's like, you don't have to write your sentences. <laughs> he said, because I, was, was, I still had detention, but it was I didn't have to write detention or I didn't have to write my sentences and do detention because when you didn't write them you not only did you get detention but it was those plus a whole nother separate assignment for sentences and it was like double the amount or some shit like oh that oh my god yeah. is this like the fucking Simpsons get over yourself literally yeah. not the you're reminding me like I think in high school the, the getting in trouble but because I was funny I always got my points but now that you're saying that I'm like fuck this motherfucker he is not good good he riddance. wasn't a bad teacher but he wasn't good. And I'm yeah, glad no. that he's not. He's I'm glad that he doesn't. Have you guys ever seen that video of that um, 
Jacob Han type who who he's like, you're not teaching these yes, kids. Yes, the blonde kid. Yeah, yeah and the, I love that the video. Kid with the long hair. And I, 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 every time I cheat. Yeah, every, people don't learn that way. Some people learn hands on. <laughs> and honestly, to God, I, I, I every time I see that video, I'm like. Fuck right. yeah. Yeah, right. Me so too. Good. I'm like, Jacob Hahn, go you. Literally, would, literally. I watched him and do it to Pete Kramer. He yes. did that. Oh, <gasps> yes. Jacob Hahn Mr. literally did that to teachers because I Jacob Hahn was incredibly I know intelligent. He would do it. I know yeah. he would do and it. I will never was forget what he Very intelligent. Did it when he said, You need to listen to your bus drivers, man. They're getting <laughs> you home safe. <laughs> they got your life. When they tell you to sit down on your butt facing forward, you do do it he had such a sense of justice he right. really did but he was also then right. don't fuck with him because he's gonna throw a chair at you I like he did terrified. in Miss Leahy terrified I got lectured by him because we were fucking with Daniel Myers just fucking oh him. he hates bullies but he was our friend but he was also a bully <laughs> he right. was like we were like teasing him but he was our friend he's like hey y'all don't fucking do that to him He he's a fucking person like all this well, shit well cause he probably was like could tell that his feelings you said who were you teasing Daniel Myers. Oh, yeah. Which then Daniel Myers would be like, just because you guys are my friends, you can't do that. That's what I would hear him he say to like. Oh, he never uh, said that to me. Oh, yeah. So, I mean, but also I feel like the classic bullying you, you're to your friends are saying, you're like, ha, ah, yeah. So, Jacob was probably like, bitch, you should, you guys are being mean to him. And his oh, we were gonna... literally pushing him around. We had him. We had <laughs> yeah, so he's not we an idiot. Pushing. He knows that you guys didn't really like him. You guys weren't really friends with him. Like... <laughs> We were in a circle, literally pushing him around. <laughs> you wonder why he thought you were bullying. <laughs> I was so a shit listening after that. I hope uh, I never see. God him bless Jacob. Palm. The last time I saw him randomly was when I randomly reconnected with Jasmine. I don't even know at what point you guys. I couldn't. Are they fucking you. still? No, I mean this was like we're talking like maybe 2014. I can't remember oh. the year. It was like very mm. soon after. Like it had to have been either right after. It's so weird to me that it even happened because it feels like a fever dream. But we went over to his house when he was staying with somebody else we went to high school with, and it in. Just not Jesse Ackerman. It was someone random that like I wouldn't have guessed that they would be friends. And he was like taking Jacob and helping because they became friends or whatever. And we went over there and we were all like playing hide and go seek in the dark. And it was so fun. And they were drinking and that's when I was still a little prude. And I was like, I don't drink in the rain, Jesus. Um, <laughs> so you, Jasmine Rogers, and Jacob Hahn, and played. a bunch of other people. I can't. Nine like, years Jordan ago, Hall played. was there. It was like all their random. It was fucking random. It was, I literally, That's I so think random. for some reason, my brain, Brandon Scott might have been there. Whoa. I'm going to, I almost. <laughs> you know, Is that crazy? Definitely it was like a them. random, it was such a <laughs> fucking said, random. Whoa. Because it was when Jesse Ackerman started getting in trouble and he was doing drugs, which was when he went to jail. What kind of drugs was he doing? I can't remember, but I think it was like. He had a pencil dick. Oh, really? You've mm. seen it? You I feel like pictures? I've heard that. Oh, it's probably from you. I've probably heard from you. It, unless he was faking, it was one of the most. No, that seems about right because I feel like I remember. I feel like I remember name redacted telling me that. Very, I mean, just (laughs) thin. No, and and like wavy. Like you could see like the. The I know there's no bone, but if there was a bone, like you could see the texture of the bone. Like like, that's how I felt about Taylor Thomas' penis. You remember that story? How he flipped. He told me look under the table because he's gonna flip me off. I did it with his penis. Oh. (laughs) <laughs> that's not good I thought I told you guys that. I'm sure you have but it's just before or after about it now. oh before it was when it was middle school because it was when we would always we would both get detention a lot and then it would be like after school sometimes if there wasn't enough well, sometimes stage, you do that thing where you put out. your fingers through the hole no it was his penis he literally had his whole penis out it was his penis. <laughs> um, he would Taylor always flirt Thomas with us. Because that. that's when I was friends with like Jesse Wick, nasty. Keisha Perkins, all them. Oh, yeah. I was friends with Jesse Fuck Wick. Seth Keisha, yeah, all the like that random group of friends. And so then one of them had a RV. It might have been Jesse Wick's family. So then they would invite their friends over, and that's when they would have the bonfire. And so he would oh, always with Jesse their, Wick. Yeah, yeah, he would. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it, it like literally sent shivers is, through my I, body. I hate yeah. her. She just makes me cringe. She is cringe. Oh, I forgot all about her. Yeah, she's cringe for I don't sure. know who she is. I'll have to show you a picture. Um, a she did Nick Mead for a long time. Wick. W-I-C-K. She's kind of like a... And then she dated James Mantell for a long time. After she an school, I-E so. or an E? She was kind of a witch type. Not a witch type, but like a, she had like a paramour hair. Yeah, she had paramour hair and underliner mm-hmm. under, on her under eyes. The business of Miz. Mm-hmm. Like, um, and that was her whole person. And this is how she would take pictures. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I have pictures at her house because we used to be like best friends. I literally were looking at them. I remember like, randomly she started, she like joined show choir and I'm like, what the fuck is going on? Oh yeah, because she thinks that she can sing for sure. Jesse Wink, I'm sorry for the hate. She's a country girl now? Could be. Mm, she works for a vet. She loves animals. She loves working with animals. No. That's not her? No. Are you sure? Let me see. Yeah. I have I, one I, mutual friend. Let me see. No, that's not her at all. 
I have one mutual friend, though. Can you let me see Brandon the bitch? Simpson. Can you let me see her? You'd have way I more mutual you. friends. An actual close-up picture of her, RJ. There aren't many. Let me see that. That's It's just not her. Is yes, it? it is. That's her. That's not her in the other yes, picture, though. Go to the other one. That one? Let me see. Zoom I in on RJ. that. You're, like, not letting me see that. That is Jessica Wick. Oh, my God. It is. I said, that's not her. That is her. Oh, my God. Huh. Well, she got rid of the Paramore hair, and I, I, I'm really like hair. Oh no, she, she's still. I'm like it. face blind. If you change your hair, I don't know who she, you uh, are. She, she's had some interesting phases over the years when I've randomly stalked her. She was the friend that um would like always purposely like you'd tell her about a boy that you like, and you guys were like, talking or whatever, and then when they would come around, she would be like touch my boobs and finger me. She oh was a bad God. friend. So she and Taylor Thomas did quite a bit. But yeah, he said I'm gonna flip you off. I said okay, whatever. And he's looking under the table. And I thought that's what he was gonna do. And I looked under and there was his whole penis, and he had a little bend from the jerkin. Oh, and folks, that would be sexual harassment. Oh yeah, I was. I was. If, you're, I was if like, you ever had a question, <laughs> is it sexual harassment? It, yeah, that would be sexual name, harassment. Is it? And that would be sexual <laughs> harassment. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, folks, you might remember, I mean, it must have been a year ago at this point since we played this game, but RJ became the reigning champion of Is It after a long battle of ties. It took three iterations. I don't remember the exact order, but we've done Is It a Podcast took me forever to remember, by the way, because the <laughs> Austin Zach 00 wiki was deleted. <laughs> Fuck you, fandom! <laughs> I couldn't remember. I genuinely couldn't remember. Is it a podcast? Is it a true crime? <laughs> Is it a monument or a statue? We've done all of these? Those were the three we've done. And after Is it a statue, you finally became the champion after multiple draws. And Yeah, I was going to say, didn't we have to draw? Yeah, so finally... Well, really drawn out then. This is going to be another... The fourth installment, Bree's coming back for the uh, title. She's going to try to, you know, finally be Ooh. not a tie. She's going to win. Which one of them? <laughs> I mean, R. See, I did it. See? So, RJ, the like reigning just, champion, just didn't get any myself. applause. But somehow, so, okay, so I get it now. They're they're fighting for the underdog. Yeah, that's You got I'm an saying. issue with I'm, that? I'm the fucking villain now. You know what? He's going to fucking beat me. <laughs> I'll lean into it. So, I know that <laughs> this is not the best way to present it, but to be honest, M- the the question is really all about you know me describing it anyway. So yeah, um, the visual will just be a little added thing. But of course, a good good moment to plug Motif's uh, YouTube channel if you want to follow along with the presentation. So what is it? Blug. What are, what are we trying to guess? What, what is it? it? Is? What is it? For episode four, is it? Boom boom boom. Fireworks. An app. Oh okay okay okay. You know wow. We- We've all heard it. Cringe, cringe, cringe. Oh, we've all heard it, you know. There's an app for there's that. There's an app for 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 that. Very fitting for the flip video camera recorder that's recording us right, <laughs> right now. So it'll be interesting to see. And, you know, RJ, you know, he is uh, in the computer science world. Maybe he'll have an edge up on this. Uh, Maybe, but I'm not in the app world whatsoever. True, but you all, you know, I mean, you know. I, I'm on the dating scene a little bit, so I know some random yeah, dating ones true. that might pop up. But I really, I don't know that. And I guess I see some stuff on like TikTok, but this might be hard. Sometimes. Could be. You know, I, I will say as a software engineer, I am fucking absolutely sick and goddamn tired of people coming to me. Hey, I got an app idea for you. Ugh. Like, I'm going to write, I'm going to spend fucking a year of my life writing this fucking code for you. Right. Dumb fucking idea that you have that already exists. I mean, if they're right. going to pay you, the time when they if they're going to pay you, who gives exists. a fuck? They won't. They won't oh. ever. You know, no. like the premise of this is that I have to come up with some fake apps. It's hard. Li- there's, <laughs> there's genuinely, so there is genuinely an app for that. And I'm going to tell you, when we get to one of the answers, there is one that I thought I was creating a fake app. I Googled it, and it existed. God damn so it. I'm like, I'm going to use it as one of the real apps. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, that's good. So that's, funny. that's a really good one. Though. I love this. A refresher for the rules. We've got ten questions. Five. Uh, let me read. Uh, not let me, but for the sake of the listener, let me read through the entire uh, slide. Then either of you can buzz in and ask a question if you'd like. A correct answer will earn you two points. An incorrect answer will earn your opponent one point. I don't know. I'm excited for the game, though. I think I'm going to win this one. Brianna, Nicole, Reagan. I never call you Brianna. It threw me off. Yeah. I, You're going down. It, it it's going to be a fun me off. It pissed me off. I hate that. <laughs> Why did that piss you yeah, off? Because Brianna, for some reason, just makes me like, it feels like such a cunt. 
and I forgot to mention we also <laughs> have I we also have a uh, a bonus or a sudden death question, so to speak, if there were to be a tie going into the final uh, <laughs> question. That was uh, that was the insurance that actually made us have a winner after three <laughs> yeah, fucking rounds. To. Is it an app? First question. Clip doc. Have you ever been up a standard paper clip and then wish that you could use it again? Look no further than ClipDoc. Using state-of-the-art artificial intelligence, ClipDoc allows users to upload photos of bent paper clips, and then ClipDoc will provide instructions to reshape the clip for normal use. But not only that, they have some wacky paperclip designs, like sort of like origami, where you could say, oh, I want dinosaur, and it'll tell you how to shape your paperclip into a dinosaur. Man. RJ. There's no way that's real. And I just want to make a comment, because I, I agree. Yeah. There has to be no way that's real, because I love breaking paperclips at work all the time, and if you break a small piece off like this, how is that going to fucking get reshaped? <laughs> yeah, I guess you're right. Yeah, I wonder if it would just then be like, oh, well, you know, three you know three millimeters is missing so it affects you know i mean it's state-of-the-art ai you know so maybe that's included we don't need it wants me AI to believe them. it wants me to believe i'm gonna break a paper clip in half and it's gonna i could just bend it i already know that it's bendable <laughs> i agree with you i, I could, wish i would have i could in, bend it back to a paper clip easy unless it breaks yes like if you break it of course because if you bend it a certain way they There's break easily. so many of them though who is this app for? There's so many paper clips in one package. You're like five dollars, you get a thousand fucking. Yeah, paper. right. I agree with you, and I wish I would have buzzed. This is too ridiculous. Zach had to have come up with this. I wish th- I. There's so I many have ideas. Fucking, <laughs> I have like I. I think I feel like it's so dumb that unfortunately it's gonna be real. Are you going real? No, I think it's not real. But what I'm saying is, is like watch we be wrong because watch it be. If I'm wrong, fucking put me in shock. <laughs> yeah, I mean, true. I agree. Let's I, see. RJ has locked in. It is not an app. Is ClipDoc an app? No. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations. I like the AI buzzword. Has earned two points. Congratulations, Mr. Quillen. Thank you. Building an early Thank lead. You. Let's move into the <laughs> second question. Badonk. Ooh. Oh. There's nothing wrong with a little consensual ass staring, right? Badonk is an app that allows users to upload and peruse thousands of photos of butts. Now, there is a premium version which allows nude butts, but the free version is intended only for clothed asses. <sighs> Bree. Real. Okay. No, it's definitely not. You don't think it's real? Go on. Can I? Can we? Can we have a short yeah, combo? Oh, of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bree locked in. I can't, yeah, I don't you've locked in. Yeah. So it's saying user users to upload and pers- th- why do you think it wouldn't be real? I don't. I wouldn't even remotely give you my answer because I'm going to give you the leg up. There's no way I can steal. Well, the she's point. already locked in. I, so, I mean, I it's kind of just a discussion. I think, well, at that point. Uh, do, so I, and I can't change my answer. No. Okay. 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 So she's already locked in. Yeah. I'll tell she's you why. So here's that, here's why I think it's fake. Here's why it, there I'm having doubt is because a free version of it, then that's just free asses. I'm not getting paid for anything because I would anonymously upload my ass to an app like this because no one would know that it was me. But I'm realizing that I should have said no because I realized, literally as we're discussing this, the premium version, which allows you nude photos, which is probably the only thing people would pay for because I could Google fucking assholes. Not assholes even, sorry. So I wish I could change my answer. I said real, but go ahead. <laughs> it's against the terms of service of app of the app store. You can't have, they would never allow that. There's not How a, is that diff- any different? There's not than a Pornhub like, app. There's not. You can't have nudity on anything in the App Store. But what about? I mean, I see nudity. Maybe on the Google TikTok, Play Store. Or I mean, Tumblr and Reddit and. That's true. And, and. And I've heard definitely of people selling random pictures of like their asses or like body parts, like where you can get money for it. But I guess. But there's a things. service. Like there's not like there would there would never be an OnlyFans app. They're not gonna they're not gonna allow an app to come through that's just for adult content. It's not real. Well, let's see. Damn. We have a little if bit of controversy real, here. If it is real, me and Jackals. <laughs> it'd, be it'd be bold. Let's see, Bree. You've locked in that it is an app. Is Badonk an app? Damn. RJ I'm just going to congratulate you now. <laughs> <laughs> Do I get points for that? Yeah, yeah. you get a point because I answered yeah, wrong. You earn one, one point. Okay. Moving into number three. Baristas on tap. 
Are you an unemployed barista? Starbucks is beneath you and you need somewhere to really grind your beans? Well, Baristas on Tap is the solution for you. This app allows users, both baristas and coffee shops, to create and fulfill barista shifts, sort of like a DoorDash or Uber for uh, like a freelance barista. If you needed a barista on Sunday, you could, you know, request a barista and, you know, people could bid on their shift. RJ. It's real. That's the sort of gay shit people come to me and want me to make. Mm. So if they're coming to me and want me to make it, somebody's done it. Yeah, I agree. You think it's real too? Because at first I was like, well, how would that even be possible? Because how are they going to like pay them? And I was thinking about all the uh, tax forms, but then I realized that it's the same thing as DoorDash. Like it's the same (laughs) thing as like just ordering that. They they would fill out their tax forms with DoorDash. Someone else is just right. Right. So in that sense, I agree with RJ that it. Somebody was telling me they're working on an app that it's like it's Uber but for mechanics. I mean, that would be awesome. No, it wouldn't. Why? <laughs> it's just like someone, so, if it was like a, a, a quick diagnostic service. I wouldn't subscribe to it. Fifty dollars a month. Oh no. No, 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 no! I thought that you meant some. You know, RJ's a mechanic and he wants to make a few extra bucks on the weekend, so he's like on call, and that you could then do that. Not like you'd have to subscribe. We don't need all these different services for all this different shit. Just make. Like there is this. One. I mean, if it's something simple that I would not have to pay for as much going to a shop, like if they could come get my window if it slips down in, and then you know it's going to be cheaper than going to a shop because I'm having to pay for his labor instead of like whatever. That's I fair. don't know. Maybe if it was like that. Otherwise, there is no use for it. Yeah, this is this is in the realm of what I would consider jobs as a service. Mm-hmm. It's just dumb. I don't like it. I'm so tired of it. <laughs> so let's see. You've locked in that that you believe this is an app. I believe it's an app. Let us if see. It's not, put me in shackles. <laughs> It is an app. I told you it's the sort of gay shit that people would go to me with. RJ, you're up to five points. Bree, big fat goose egg. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there is baristas on tap. I got to tell you, wow. I um, this was the app that I thought I was making up. And then it existed. Are you kidding me? And not only did it exist, there are multiple Oh my barista gosh. on tap services with other names, you know, like book, you know, I don't even know what they were, but I, I literally looked up freelance barista app because I thought it was ridiculous. And there were that many. So funny. <laughs> there were freelance many. any app. There's an app. All right. Let's go on to our next question here. Let's see. This must be number from four. I'm going to look this way and do this. So I am going to look this way. Snap crap. Snap crap. Public sanitation is a big problem in large cities like San Francisco, so the inventors of Snap Crap wanted to put the power back into the hands of these concerned San Franciscans. This app allows users to take photos and then geotag feces or other gross things, vomit, dead animals that need cleaned up on the streets of San Francisco. And as of the time that I discovered this app, it boasted at least 2 million downloads. (laughs) Oh, Brie. Real. It's real as fuck. And I've heard of it. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so you've you've heard of it. Yeah, so they can warn people where all the shit is, like where to avoid. Sure. And then like the good people of the world will go clean it. And so what makes you think that it's real, Brie? Oh, literally just that, because I think that that's a something... Is that a real per- picture of species in San Francisco? Uh, no, that's just like, uh, that's like animal feces, though. It bothers like me a... that it kind of like, the I see a little red on top. I don't know if it's the angle. It looks like meat. It does kind of look like meat. <laughs> it does kind of look like meat, but it's like a horse done. That's so funny. The reason why I thought it was real is because I do think that something like that would exist, especially especially somewhere like that, or like that it's like something that all the little Gen Zs would like. You know, I'm not saying, even saying it's a bad thing, like cool that someone else is going to go do it, but it reminded me of how I have the blind app on my phone, how blind people will put out a call or something oh, yep. to anyone within oh, whatever can that. answer. Really and, awesome. I, and it's very, I've gotten a call that I've been able to answer three times now. Really? Uh, from different people. And it's very, yeah, it's it's like I'm always nervous because I'm like, what if it's something I can't, what if right. they're asking me to count something and I can't fucking do it or something? But, um, no, what one did they was, ask you to do? The first one was to tell them the expiration. They were going through their food in their fridge and their cabinets, and they needed to see the expiration dates to see what they needed to throw out. Mm. And then the other one was they were opening up a statement, and they needed to write a check. Um, and they were, like, uh, talking about, like, the, like, what were the amounts on there, and then they wanted to know how much – or they were sending in – they were going to give someone money order, and they wanted to make sure they were having the right amount of cash. That one made me nervous because I was like, oh, ah, I can't do math. But it was like a small amount that it was fine. And then the third one, um, I think, was just going through 
mail again and they asked me to do something else but it was like something with paper it was probably just reading something again but it's all things like that or like you can it's usually like counting money if they're at a counter and they don't think that something if they're it's pretty cool yeah it is and it's nice so you've locked in that this is an app you both think it's yes an app. rj's actually heard of it it is in fact an app congratulations brie two yeah. points on the board i would never you know pick up shit but you know it cool. looks like it literally looks like snap yeah, right literally yeah. And there was another version, but it was uh, there was another photo that I wanted to include where it actually showed somebody documenting feces. But oh wow! <laughs> anytime you, you know what pisses me off. Anytime you try to share certain or save certain photos, it'll like save as a dot web page. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I hate that shit. Yeah, screenshot it. I thought about it, but I was too lazy. <laughs> 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 Number five, I think one million dollars. <laughs> Who doesn't love to count money? There is an app for that. The app $1 million' purpose is simple. It allows users to count $1 million. Uh, you know, just one, two, three, and then you, uh, you eventually you can make it rain uh, when you've counted a million dollars. And this would be, you know, a similar function to winning a game of solitaire where, you know, they kind of, the dollars kind of explode all over the screen and then you get to count a million dollars again. <laughs> oh, this was, I don't know how to judge a tie. I don't know how to. Ju- how, what do you do when you both bit buzz in at the same time? Do we ha- do you do we use one of the sudden death questions now? Well, it's not till the end. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, do you have multiple? Like, could you do another one? Could you make up one off the top of your head? Oh, I don't know. Let's see. Um, well, I guess what we'll do in this scenario. This is a new new rule. <laughs> Bill Maher new rule. Uh, if you both buzz in at the same time, both of your answers will just accept, and you'll both earn whatever points. Uh, are you know? So, so you in would this, get scena- two and I would get two if it, we're both right. If you're both, yeah. Damn. Yeah. I He's think gonna it's gonna win app. this. This is gonna make him win. I think it is an app. You think it's an app? I do think it's an app as well. Okay. I feel like there's no way I could come back from him getting. It's two just points. so simple. Like somebody had to have done that by now. If they hadn't done that, I'd be shocked. Yeah, and I only the re- I think I think it's fucking stupid. But I've seen random when I'm playing my dumbass games that I like to play ads for shit like that where I'm like, that's the dumbest fucking yeah. thing I've ever like, seen. Isn't it you? I used to, we used to play um, venture capitalist. Oh yeah. Oh, that shit was fun. That was such part. a fun game. So fun when you could like start over and have angel investors. Yeah. And we got to the point where we're making like seven septillion like, yeah. dollars a second. I was like learning that game. Like taught me more. Um, I don't know what you would classify those, but more uh, in-depth, like, oh, I've made septua genets. Oh, yeah. It it got to an absolutely ridiculous (laughs) point. (laughs) Right. So are you, you're both locking in that this is an app. Yeah. It does seem pretty simple. It almost seems like a flash game. Yeah. Yeah. Where you're just kind of flicking a million times. Yeah. If it's not, put me in shackles. Well, you're in shackles. (gasps) You're in shit. You're in shackles. You looked it up? It doesn't exist. Yeah, it doesn't exist. I, uh, yeah, it does not exist. So then in the same vein, does that mean we both get minus a point? Uh, Well, you don't get minus a point, but I think you're both going to get a point because you're both wrong. So your opponents both get one. You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now we're at six to three. And what number was this one? I think five. Oh, so God, I think you're just going to win by default. Well, you buzz in very, very fast. Yeah. But if I answer wrong, I'm still fucked. So even if I, if we're at number five, even if I answer the rest of them, you already have more points than I do. No, you only have to get two more to be ahead of me. I thought you had... You get two points for win- winning, right? Yeah, you have three oh, points. Okay, 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 okay. Three to six. Okay. I know, but she gets two points if she gets the answer right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Moving on to whatever I can't believe. I'm shocked. I'm truly shocked that's not real. Binky. <laughs> Binky proclaims to be the most stress-free social media ever, so it... The whole thing was to save yourself myself. from doom scrolling and download Binky. This app mimics social media feeds to pacify your brain. So what it does is it populates your feed with these random images. They all come from like the wiki commons and you it has like all these weird interactions like you can swipe right and left like it's Tinder, you can comment, you can like, you can rebink, but it all means nothing. Uh, because the whole point is that, you know, sometimes you just want to use your phone to use your phone, but you don't necessarily want to use, like, Facebook. You just want to scroll. Bree. I'm 50-50, but I'm going to have to lock in real, unfortunately, because I feel like there's some motherfuckers out there with do that, but it also almost seems too fake. I don't think it's real. I, I do think I already immediately regret answering it that way. I didn't feel confident the answer, so I just let you do it, Bree. It seems like... It seems like... <laughs> 
So it seems like this is what Republicans would think that liberals mean by needing a safe space, which is why I'm like, but also some yeah, liberal that, gen- It seems auto- like something Zach would think of and be like, fucking binky. I'm in <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and, <laughs> but and so in that, in that vein, it's like it's almost too fake for that, but it also is like it could be real. So I'm not confident in my answer, but I just wanted to answer before you. I'm probably got to stop doing that. Probably. Yeah. So Brie, you've locked in that it is an yeah, app. Unfortunately. And RJ, you didn't think it was. If it, I don't want it to be. <laughs> don't yeah, I don't want, want it to be. It to be. I think that's cringe. so fucking stupid. Yeah, it's it cringe is, as fuck. It would be very cringe. Just get on social media, you dumb cunt. Right. right. It's kind of like, what is the, uh, what are you really, you're addicted to your phone. What is yeah. doom scrolling? Where you're just on your Scrolling all endlessly. The time. And usually it, it it really came to terms during the Trump administration when mm. people would just sit there and the news every day was terrible. Everything they saw, every comment that they read, every news thing was just yeah, depressing. Stop and reading du- it. But right. then and then now it's taken on a wider form of even people use it and like um like in terms of like depression, ADHD, mm-hmm. blah blah blah. Like it's like we're when you Oh, when I see like, Abigail literally can't Get, get up off her and phone. I have to like take her phone out of her hands, yeah. and then she gets mad. It feels mm-hmm. like I and, she's and like, thank you. She what, might, no, she literally might me. like an app like Binky. Literally, me at night, I get so. If Abigail ever downloaded Binky, I'd leave her. <laughs> 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 I get so tired. I'll be like literally falling asleep on the couch. Get up to go to bed. I get stuck on my phone, and then they call it revenge bedtime. It's like where you, because you're working all day, and then you got home, your mind was tired. You're like yep. just want to relax or whatever, and so you stay up because you're like, why well, just want it's now? I just want some time to myself, and I absolutely struggle with that. And I'll be like, why the fuck am I still watching TikTok? or checking twitter or like whatever like get the fuck and i literally have to be like get off like put your fucking phone down bitch so for me that is also doom scrolling as well like yeah i think both yeah I think and unfortunately as i'm saying some fucking fuck kink grinch fuck would probably make something like this but also maybe it's too fake i think i'm getting the point you probably are getting the point I- i'll be See, real with you is binky an app <gasps> there ain't it is no God, fucking there. shit and here that is so cringe Ew, snowflake. Ew. Yeah, that's fucking, a fucking snowflake. That, that is a ew. snowflake. That brings Brie within one point. We have a it six, does. six to five. But now on this next slide, I actually have a video from Binky. No. I know some Gen Z oh, fucking. I on my phone all the time. And sometimes I'm done with Facebook and Twitter. Or I can't deal with more posts about you know who. I don't actually want to see more photos of my friends' kids. So you're looking at strangers' it's kids? True. Is this but real? Yeah, it's like serious. This. So I'm literally forced to open Facebook. When you want to use your this phone. This looks like a college humor video. Oh. Yeah. The video itself, but it's a genuine app. I, in fact, I downloaded it on my phone because I couldn't believe it. God damn it. So this is strangers. It's essentially you just don't know these people. No, the it's difference. just it's stock images. Puddles. Polka dot, skateboard. Stock images. Get the fuck off Is your phone. Fu- literally, honestly. <laughs> you just go do something else. pissing me off. <laughs> Go do something else. Right. Literally, you're still on your phone. This is. How do these people have so much free time? They're swipe. I'm gonna kill myself. But it doesn't do anything. It doesn't save anything. It doesn't. There's no other people. It generates as your own. So this is like what you'd give to a kid if he wanted to like play. Literally, if you wanted them to have safe social media. Randomly chooses from over 17 pre-written comments. I'm going to kill myself. So much or this. So much this. You want the thrill of looking at a new thing every second. Binky gives you that in its purest form. Tandoori chicken. Somebody pays for the servers to Binky. Yeah. And in there, in like, you can go into the settings, and at the bottom it says, throw Binky some money, $1.99. Why would I do that? No. Why would I do that? Guys, snowflake fucking liberals. They're, they're like honestly like I'm voting Republican. <laughs> in the 2024 election. That made me god. Especially when the one girl said, "I can't see another more tweets about you know who." Literally. Uh, girl. Ooh! I like I'm feeling secondhand embarrassment right now. I feel like I'm literally getting that like nervous like throw up feeling in my throat. I'm like I hate this. I know. I have it right here on my phone. Let me show you. Yeah. Let me see let's see what you Binky's guys. got for me. These we are doomed. Here's Binky. Television. It doesn't want to load right now. Oh, there we go. This is a stock That's image right. of a wall of televisions. There's Ivan Rashud. Ballet. And like this is... Otter. The reason why this wouldn't work is because it's also not entertaining to me, which is the whole point of social media. That's how they get us. That is dumb shit. Right. I'm instantly like, this is boring. I'm going to get back on social media. To be honest, <laughs> as 
as I've been scrolling, I like seeing what it, my friends are up to. As I've been scrolling through it, like it'll show something, and it'll be like an interesting image or like a random thing, and it'll be like, oh, like I, I mean, something that I haven't heard of, but it'll be like, oh, chicken tikka masala, mm-hmm. which obviously I've heard of, yeah. something yeah, that I haven't, I'm, I'm and I want to click on it and be like, I want to actually see more. But it's not like that. That's not what the functionality is. So it is a very stupid app, but Brie, it is an app, so God. that brings you up five to five six. points. I'm glad that I took the risk, I guess. Carrot oh, weather. What the fuck? Carrot weather. Move over, Benjamin Franklin's Farmer's Almanac. Carrot weather is here now. A carrot weather is a modern-day farming guide for carrot farmers uh, using real-time weather data from your geolocation and the variant of carrot that you are planting. Carrot weather will give your the user daily tasks to ensure proper corn yield. <laughs> I mean, carrot yield. I don't How know can I pause? I can never buzz in. She, I'm, she buzzes. I'll, you, know. you finished your sentence. She buzzes to in the second proper... you finish. That's the whole point of a buzz game, isn't it? Well, he right. literally said you have to wait until he well, finishes I'll the did question. Go first. She did go first. Okay. okay. What were you going to say, Zach? I was going to say I didn't hear Bree because I was still I had but I had finished. Oh. I said corn yield, but then I realized that I typed corn instead of carrot, so I started correcting myself. So I didn't oh. hear Bree and so the first person I heard was RJ, but RJ Go ahead, RJ. Bree RJ is saying that Bree answered first, so I'll let you guys decide. Well, I I correct me if I'm wrong, but in a buzz game isn't the whole point to do it. I guess it is. But how could you buzz in quicker than <laughs> The sentence of the. That's what I'm saying. Did, did, are, literally. But if we both do it. Technically, I did say corn yield, which was the end of the sentence, and then she buzzed in. I apparently. think it's. I'm going to give it to Bree. I'm going to hope she gets it wrong, and then I get a point. <laughs> Let's see. I think it's real. It sounds like a fly. <laughs> <laughs> it's cute. Gay Guy Rocco. Gay Guy oh. Rocco sounds like a little fly buzz. And... So, what makes you think it's a real app? It just seems like it could be useful. Yeah, it's weird I mean, that it's specifically carrot. It, I do think it's weird that it's specifically carrot, but I feel like it's something that could be. I just think that that's something that could be real, like yeah. that people would genuinely. Use it. There's so many gardening apps out there. There's so many like take a picture of your grass and we'll tell you what you need to do to it. Like yeah. there's stuff out there that's actually like this, and so to me, it's like because it could be something. Do I think it's like why not all things? But it is weird though because it's such a like how many carrot farmers could there possibly be? Right, I mean, not that There's, many. You don't thousands? think in the in the U.S. thousands? Yeah, but that's still a lot. And then when people just want to have a little garden outside their home with their raised beds, people who don't know what they're doing, I think a regular farmer's almanac would do a carrot farmer fine. Yeah, but but it, it doesn't. <laughs> but it doesn't What's have to be a carrot about, farmer. What if me, who has not got that great of a green thumb, a wants to have a raised bed? Roots are easier. But okay, but that's not everybody. Not everybody's a good gardener. So if. Um, if <laughs> If everyday person who just downloads it, I'm not a good gardener. Well, I can't. I struggle to keep certain things alive. Then I'm gonna download and be like, oh, this would be useful for me because I so don't you have an app for your carrots, app for your strawberries. If they made your... them, and I was, yeah, I absolutely would because that's just my brain of you. I feel like that's like what I talk about is like my I love everything to be in category. I love to know the whole process of it and everything. So sure. for me and the way that my brain works, this would be real. Do I think it's weird? Yes. I'm, and about I'm doubting it that you said corn it. now. So now I feel like it's wrong because well, Zach I mean, I was that. typing stuff. I mean, I typed every slide regardless. Even you know, so right. I just when I was typing, I just I don't know why I thought corn <laughs> when I was talking. Hoping she's wrong, and I corn. get that two point lead. Let's see, carrot weather, Bree. You've locked in. It's an app. Let's see. Bang. Damn! Hey, congratulations! Yeah. Congratulations! Let me add over a point here. Now you need to get two. You need to buzz in before me and get two right to get the lead. What was that? The cat's in there just walking all over things. We're now up to seven to five. I have no idea what question we're on. (laughs) Send me to heaven. Oh, my God. Hell, yeah. Also known as SMTH, this app encourages users to find a real-world application for their phone. Send me to heaven has one purpose. The app records how high the phone has been thrown. So users send their phone to heaven in an attempt to set a record on the device. (laughs) Now, the terms of service advise users to ensure the use of a sturdy protective case, of course, but they can't. I mean, obviously, this you're going to break your phone. RJ? Real. Okay. What makes you say that? It just... It Intuition. seems like something that Jonah would honestly do because he tried to get it in a struggle thing. So the reason I didn't buzz is because I don't feel like I have a confidence or because I do think it could be real and I think it could also not be real. It's like my my on my one wheel app, it has a challenge like over the course of you having it to descend like 37,000 feet, like the length of the Mariana Trench. Mm. And I want to get it so bad. Yeah, that would be <laughs> I want to get it so yeah. bad. 
And it's just like, that's just a challenge. I love a good yeah. challenge. I would like this app. It'd be cool. Yeah. But of course, but would you be afraid of breaking your phone? Yeah. I'd do it with like a, I'd do it with a, like an old phone. Mm, yeah. That's true. Otterbox. Yeah. Otterbox and do it in controlled environment. Like get one of the big blankets you have when they have to have someone like jump out of a building. <laughs> so we'd all hold it. You throw your phone up and then we're just going to try to watch it come back down. and like get that, your that would actually kind of be but, fun. But also do it with the otter, like extra protection, Otterbox and all that. It would be fun. I honestly, Got that's it. why I'm like, I wasn't confident, but I do think it's probably I hope real. I'm not throwing this. Right. Let's see. Hope Send I'm me to throw. heaven isn't an app. Congratulations. Oh Congratulations. It is indeed. Let's Send see. me to fucking heaven. Do we know who the highest person is by chance? I that I don't know Obviously. that information I don't have. How throwing? Do you, how do they knew you threw it up? It well, I think it uses the uh, like. How do they know as a throw? How do they know I didn't put it in like a cannon? Well, I guess they don't. But I all I think all of the only functionality that it actually has is to actually like know Measure how up and high down. it is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Some users reported scores as high as forty meters, which is one hundred and thirty-one feet, which Savarsky discovered was the result of players firing their phones. Oh, I gotta click on it. It's on the Wikipedia I'm app. I'm a cannon. It's on the Wikipedia app. <laughs> Jesus. Um, uh, like a potato gun. Right. Yeah. Developed by Kieran Pop to vertical distance. Players compete against each other by seeking to throw their phones higher than others, often at risk of taking their phone. The app was immediately banned from the App Store, but remains available on Google Play, where it be where it maintains a cult following. That's cool. I like that. It's got yeah. It's got. I like, gotta know what Android phone I'd do it with. Lost media. Oh, and could you imagine if we had like an old phone like that during the days we were throwing shit on the roof oh, of the mall? Hell <gasps> yeah, that would have been. Oh so yeah, fun. We'd never be able to get up and get it though. It would just be one. Yeah, we would never know what the record was. One entry. <laughs> <laughs> Probably break it before it even got up there because a lot of times we struggled to get it when we needed up there. We'd have to go like, right. wind up and fucking yeet it. So, our score going into the next question is RJ9, Bree5. <laughs> this is uh, Jefferson Township, Maryland City Council meeting minutes, 2012 <laughs> to 2018, <laughs> version 3. Uh, as you know, transparency, it is important in local government. You want to know what's going on. And with the popularity <laughs> of phone applications steadily rising, Jefferson Township, Maryland, began hosting their meeting minutes on an app. A very rudimentary app, mind you. This app also has sister apps for meeting minutes 2008 to 2012 and the latest edition, 2018 to 2022 uh, and they do I don't know if this was like a probably just to afford hosting the uh, server for this the app costs 79 cents real I think it's probably real yeah ridiculous just too specific not it's to be ridiculous. yeah and it's like something that they would do like that I imagine that like especially imagine now with everything that you see on the news like people going to all these board meetings like I see a lot of it on TikTok and stuff like that, that they would absolutely do something like yeah. this like it's public information it would be like part of like yeah absolutely it's real I feel like watch it be like somewhere else that's not Jefferson Township and that's what <laughs> makes it fake but it is real what do you think RJ Just I think it's similar, real similar idea yeah I mean it'd be cool to have an app for meeting minutes right yeah now. I do think it would be cool and it kind of seems like something like the Clark County Democratic Party would try to do yeah. you know spend like 30 no months. they're too adverse to technology you're right <laughs> something that they'd be like oh like somebody would br dan would bring it up in oh. in 2012 oh and then it would be you know today like, all right dan, they still would have done it and he managed he's the only one managing right <laughs> so let's see brie you've locked in that it is an app jefferson township maryland's city council meeting minutes 2012 to 2018 version 3 is it an app Oh damn! It is not. Points. Damn! Congratulations, RJ. You RJ win. Moves it really up seems like it. It's to an ten app. points. It's weird that they. I thought it was weird that they came out with multiple versions, <laughs> like instead You're of just right. updating it. You're right. <laughs> well, it seems like it's something because they wouldn't know how to do it, so that's why they had exactly. To do it that that's way. what that's I was thinking. I was yep, like, oh, that's okay, exactly that makes what sense. I was thinking. <laughs> and I loved the idea that thinking. I was really inspired by the Democratic Party when I was thinking of this app because I'm just thinking how many me meetings they would go through, how many errors they that's would have. That's not the minutes. Ah. Right, exactly. That's not official minutes. That's not, that's new business. You know, just... Like <laughs> so, RJ, Damn. double the score of Brie, 5 to 10. And I can't come back. There's no coming back. I think this is the last question. It might not be before sudden death, but let's see. Nothing is an app? This is nothing. Now, this has been featured on many lists of the stupidest, most random, least useful apps ever. 
uh, because nothing is exactly that. Upon activating the app, the entire phone screen turns black or white, and, well, I mean, that's it. It may be a gimmick, but it's actually been downloaded over 5, 000, 5 million times for literally nothing. Beep. RJ. Real. Thoughts? It's, it's like, shh, gimmick. Right. If it's not real... Put you in shackles. <laughs> Put me in shackles. <laughs> it seems like it's real. Yeah, it's like the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. But yeah, because like just like lock your screen. It's it right. seems like the. You guys smell that? No, I think I'm just smelling this wet ass dog. Well, he kind of does smell like puppy. You know, puppies do kind of. I mean, well, Frank's also, middle name is Stinky. The room he was in when we got him. Oh my god, it smelled like this. Have you given yes. him a bath? No. Oh well. That's probably what you're smelling. He needs it. Anyway, um, it seems like the logical conclusion of, there's an app for that. Yeah. Just, it, you know, absurdity always gets to a point. Have you ever guys watched the show, you know, the, the Death and Robot show or whatever? No, I haven't. Love Six Robots or something like that. Something about that sounds familiar, but I don't think I've watched. It's an animated show. There's an episode kind of like, whatever. <laughs> I don't feel like getting all into it. Uh-uh. But whoever's listening to this, if there's any, well, I assume there are. We get we get, yeah, we get listens. I mean, they might not listen this far in, but I somebody's mean, listened to this. We made fucking ten, fifteen dollars an app. Yeah, right. Oh yeah. Bree, what do you think about nothing? You think it's an app? Unfortunately, yeah. I, I think it truly could go either way, but I unfortunately think it's real. Let's see. Nothing. Is it an app? Ding. It is indeed. Just had the to fucking nothing app. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> I like how they did it with the trendy like. The trendy sort of user interfaces <laughs> right. you see these days. Even though it literally <laughs> is, it just makes your screen blank. I Which mean, is so stupid. Just literally fucking lock your phone. Right. Like, <laughs> no, I need a nap for that. Let's see what's on the next slide here. Okay, yeah, it is sudden death. So that means I love that graphic. as we that came cool. into the last question here, RJ, you are officially the winner. 12 to 5. 12 to 5. You. Some might say you schooled her. I might. <laughs> I would be one of those, one of those. Um. To be honest, I mean, it's just you know she tried to she tried to come at the champion and you know you. you I think what did her champion. in was answering before me and then giving me that point. Yeah, could be. That'll yeah. do I think it. That's what did it. So let's see. We have one question left. A bonus question since it you know since Mr. Quillen is already our winner. Let's see if Bree can earn some final points just to soften the blow. So oh question eleven, Brave Boys. A free game, well, what's the catch? My credit card? (laughs) To buy coins and more lives? Well, that's right. Brave Boys is a micro-pay farming slash survival simulator app that features orphaned boys taking over their family farm. Now, users can pay small amounts of money at a time to speed up the game or unlock cooler items and to buy more in-game currency. Now, this game did receive national attention when a child spent $5,000 in one day on the app without permission. Do I get to buzz in? You you can you can buzz in. Do you have an answer, Brie? What are you thinking? I, I was like, I almost wish there was a version where we could ask questions first and then. <laughs> um, it sounds so stupid to me, but I it could truly be real, I think. I feel like people already like to play like the farming games and things like that. And the similar... <laughs> Like the simulator apps, I don't. It's, I'm just gonna ask a question without buzzing in. Mm-hmm. Is it is is the microtransaction is that part of the advertising of it? No, I no. That's just you know that's it's like, just like every farm scene, game. right? Exactly, exactly. What do you mean? What do you? They're not like they're not you know most of these games aren't like excited about the. Fa- I mean they're excited about the fact they kind of sneak but it. They in. like sneak it in. They're like, aren't you having fun playing this game? What if you had even more fun when you can get ten million coins? Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Grow your, grow your. Wait three days for. Wait three real world days for your crops to grow, or pay fifty cents and watch them grow instantly. Oh yeah, oh yeah, God. Venture capitalist got me on that one. Adventure capitalist got me a few times. Yeah, or like remove ads is like one that almost every yeah. game has. Pay ninety nine cents to remove ads. Oh my god, I almost think it's real because it reminds me of those apps that you can download where they're like, it's almost like for women how they like like to read um, smut, but you can download an app and it's like, 
the story you can is this the will she go yeah. walk in on her brother doing this or will it be this and then you choose the event and then it's like okay will she wear this or will she wear that and like there's apps for that yeah, oh, yeah and yeah. it seems like it and it's not like it's it was made for that it's like it's always a fairy tale fucking story and how she falls in love or she's they she finds someone cheating on them and she gets revenge and she's hot it's stupid bullshit like fantasy stuff which is why I think it could be real I I don't like that it's called Brave Boys. <laughs> I don't. I don't like that it's uh, about orphaned boys taking over there. <laughs> but also, I almost don't think it's real. Simply by I just realized how an orphaned boy took over the family farm if he's orphaned. What do you mean? If you're an orphan, that means you have no parents. So how am I going to take over well, my family farm? Well, because they were living on the family farm, and then the mom and dad died. Yeah, and now you they don't have to take over their farm. Yeah, you're. How orphaned. did I even know that they took it over? What? If I'm an orphan, I'm not with my family. Or you could become an orphan yeah. at any time. If your mom died right now, you're an orphan. I didn't know that people use it like that. In yeah, my do. brain, an orphan is like I'm. A, I'm imagining like an orphanage for people. Like when they give it for adoption, you go. Put the, your yeah, I it. mean those are orphans too. But orphan is anybody. Orphan whose parents, isn't like, just a child. Away, it just yeah. means orphans. Man, they don't I, have parents. It's kind of like when you say like think of a, it like a widow, like the like I remember yeah. reading the story just the other day. It was just like widowed man's wife dies on cruise ship. Okay, I'm like, yeah. man, they're so using. Like he's like. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, was okay. he widowed before? No, he's I guess instantly I just, widowed I mean, it makes man. sense. I guess I just didn't realize people, I don't know why. So then, yeah, I think it is an app. I mean. Okay. RJ, any any thoughts? I don't think it's an app. No. Brave boys. Well, and there's, <laughs> it's, like, it's really just like, it could describe any, it could describe any app because there's so many like this. So this one. Know, that's like, why it's like That's hard. why it's hard. It's I like, know. Is it's, this, a, it's a game, but brave boys. <laughs> And it's like, <laughs> how did you spend five thousand dollars? Is it on their parents' credit card? I wish I could change my answer. That shit happens all the time. Yeah, but five thousand dollars? Oh yeah, more than that. This guy, this kid, I watched this thing about this kid who spent like fucking fifty grand in Fortnite cards. Oh my yeah, god, that's so he's crazy. Getting or- he's getting orphaned. He is. Well, he's getting murdered. <laughs> okay, yeah, his parents are cooking him out. Let's see for two bonus points or one for RJ. Is Brave Boys? An app. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Bree. RJ. RJ, <laughs> final score. RJ, 13. That had Zach written Bree, all over it. Five. Like, let me come up with a game that's... Let me come up with a game that's like a game, but I'll call it Brave Boys. <laughs> 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 and the way oh Zach God. panicked when you're like, what about Orphan? He's just like, that could be right. You had to think about it. Right. I mean, I don't know. Oh, and that's, that's the end. That's all she wrote. That's all she wrote. She. So 12 to 5 is, the, oh no, I, 11 to 5. 13 to 5. Damn. Oh, 13 to 13 5. 13 to 5. You demolished me. Bree's, uh, Bree's incorrect answer and sudden death earned yeah. you a point. I only missed one. You demolished You did really well. Yeah, you did really well. Who do knew you, the software engineer? And... Do you think, were they just too easy to see? I mean, the one you were. No, like, it was great. Well, the one you were like, well, that would violate the terms of service. Yeah, that if I, I would have like, known that, then I would have yeah. like not guessed it. But because I, I actually purposely all that information yeah, in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but the fact that like it would be a thing, that's why I was like, oh, absolutely. Like, so it was still a challenge. It mm-hmm. wasn't. It wasn't that straightforward. I, okay, no, it wasn't straight. I was nervous that's every time. Hear. Well, hopefully. Ne- not the very next time we all record together, but hopefully, you know, we'll get another is it going. I've still got some ideas. What was the one that you had just said? I think it was a joke, but you said... <laughs> is it a gender identity or pronoun? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've got some other ones that have been percolating in the list for a while. So, I mean, we'll, we'll certainly revisit is it, but as for now... RJ is still our two-time reigning champion. Woo, 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 Bree, woo, you're going to have to study, even though you could never study, because yeah. it's a surprise. It's a surprise every time. <laughs> but we will see uh, the next time we do this if you can finally come back. Maybe even just you a tie at this it. point is would be a, a success. Um, someone that RJ and I know well or a TV show, is it a line from that show? Right. Yeah, that That'd would be, be a good one. Well, as always, folks, you know, we're blessed to be joined by Brianna Nicole Reagan. <laughs> I almost did it again. Uh, it's always a blessing to have you. Always a blessing to hang out. Thank you. Thank you, you know. thank you. Yep. Uh, gonna miss you while you're on vacay. But nice you on vacay. And we should get it. back and we should do another one. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. I'd hear about and, the Florida uh, things. Gotta hear about the Florida nice things. Nice single lesbian I took some videos Florida. for you guys. Remember when we did that for the Azuis yeah. and I had to film for yeah, Florida? That was I fun. It. I was just thinking about that earlier today. <laughs> I sure did love that. That was all fun. That was all fun. Well, folks, until next time, stay moot. I'm just a small town boy from Appalachia.